From United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. Water can be hard to find in the freezing winters of Mongolia. Plenty of it from dug wells is a welcome sight to the country's thousands of herders and the millions of livestock they live off. Herder Bat Chargal, a father of four, says this recently rehabilitated well is the only source of running water his family and their 700 heads of livestock have. This well we use for everything, for our daily use of water and for our livestock, and it is the same for the other herders around this area. Batragal and other herders proposed the renovation of the once defunct well in their area under Mongolia's Sustainable Livelihoods Project, funded by the World Bank, European Union and Japanese government. The project's community initiatives program gathers rural community members and lets them decide what initiatives to finance with program funds. Under the initiatives fund, rural communities have paid for and supervised the upgrading of small but vital infrastructure projects like the wells and hospitals. The Mongolian town of Olzit chose to renovate its health centers using money from the fund to pay for new equipment, beds, sheets, and windows. <laughs> Ulzit also funded a motorcycle for its traveling medic, Dr. Harul Shulun, who rides up to 30 kilometers a day in freezing temperatures to make house calls to homebound patients. Before it was quite challenging because I only had a horse and it was difficult when it was snowy and rainy. In addition to improving their health facilities, rural communities have allotted initiative funds to upgrading their education sectors. Fund money has gone to renovating dormitories, like this one in the Mongolian town of Bag, where children from isolated areas come to live in order to be able to attend school. Bag's community used their initiative funds to pay for the dormitory's new kitchen equipment and new chairs and tables for its dining room. A welcome improvement, says 17-year-old Narangarel, who's lived at the dorm for the past four years. It is all very useful and makes it a more convenient environment for study. And study she must, says Narangarel, in pursuit of her dream to become a doctor. This report was produced by James Martone for the United Nations.